Hey, hey, friend. Happy, happy, happy Thursday to you. GTT here coming at you. Have you ever let anybody down? Have you ever let your customers down? I just let down some people that are very, 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 very important to me. As a matter of fact, I tell them if I've got 50 protected clients that come hell or high water, I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to fulfill my obligation to superior service, to a friendship, to loyalty. They would be on that list. And sometimes you can be great at what you do, but that does not mean you always give a great performance. Just like Michael Jordan, some nights had bad nights. Sometimes he may have had two or three bad games in a row. It's okay to admit I screwed up. So I had to tell my people, two of the, two of the best clients, two of the best people, two of, again, probably out of the 50 people that I'm going to do whatever it takes, there are two of them. And this was a journey that started several months ago. They built a house, and uh, they probably overspent on this house thinking that they were going to get more money back from the sale of their home. So I didn't set their expectations initially. And they don't accept me saying this to them, but I've told them over and over again that I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we didn't sit down. And all you agents out there that get to hear this, please listen up. Because I believe this, everything happens because of me, because I did something, or because I didn't do something. But I've got the mindset that it all starts and ends with me. So I wish I would have set them down and given them very, 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 very conservative estimates on what they were going to get from their house. And then they could have taken that information, and when they were going over to build their new house, they could have... Uh, put in their upgrades and their options based off that conservative number. But guess what? Didn't do that. Had to tell them I'm sorry. Had to pretty much say I'm a loser. But you know what? I'm going to admit to that. And I want our culture to be like that. I heard Cousin Charlie on the phone today with another one of those 50 type clients that I was talking about where I heard him say, Cousin Charlie, what'd you say? Hey, it's Cousin Charlie here. Hey, he's the greatest. I heard him say, hey, we messed this up. And you know what? When he told that client, hey, we kind of dropped the ball here. We're sorry. We're going to make this up to you. That client was okay with it, Kathleen. Too often, we get into trying to defend our greatness where we can't show any type of weakness. We can't. Hey, you're the greatest. So just take this and learn from my mistakes. When you mess up, you're probably going to do a lot more damage control by just saying, you know what, we dropped the ball here and we're sorry. What can we do to make this up to you? Whenever I go to a restaurant and I say I'm unhappy about something and when they go into defense mode and they try to tell me the reason why I'm stupid or the reason why I'm wrong, it doesn't, it doesn't turn me into a promoter or an advocate of that restaurant. What it makes me do is say, you know what, I'm not going back there because it's okay to admit I'm flawed. It's okay to admit that I'm not always going to be perfect. Not even the greatest, not even Michael Jordan, not even Muhammad Ali, all these people, you can have a bad night, you can have a bad day, you can also have a bad experience. I think it goes a lot further whenever you tell people you're sorry, you messed up. Just want to give you my little words of wisdom.